Hello, my precious souls. I hope that all is well with you guys. We are going to do a Mercury retrograde reading. Let's see what can we expect during Mercury retrograde outside of the usual and which I think are key details in order to help you to remember your shit, okay? Such as remembering to make sure that you have your keys, your phone, your wallet, all of your essentials before you leave the house. <laughs> um, not leaving your card at your house or somewhere else. Um, okay, so like glitches in electronics, delays with like traveling, um, of course, hint as to why the situation with spirit happened. I mean, it's Mercury retrograde. The shadow is here, so of course it's still going to be. Anyways, you just got to know to understand. Um, delays with travel. Glitches in electronics, i.e. phones, registers, clocks, any sort of electronic. Um... Exes trying to come back or to come around or like try to rekindle shit. They're an ex for a reason. Literally ex the motherfuckers out for a reason. Okay. They are not a candidate. It's a big ex. Ex. Okay. What's next is why. Why the fuck did I do that? <laughs> Anyways. Um, Mercury retrograde. Okay, so for the planet, it's representing the way that you think and the way that you react. So be very, that is like putting very big emphasis on watching the things that you are thinking and be cautious of the ways that you're reacting. Could be like really snappy, moody, that extra type, like animosity in the air sort of thing. So be sure that you're not like, you could be around someone and thinking that they're that way and that's really you projecting it outwardly, but it's not really so. So it's kind of like try to keep yourself balanced throughout Mercury retrograde on every level. Um, car issues, just pretty much just shit just going left. So just... Kind of be prepared for shit. Whatever to pop up, you know, make sure that you have extra money stashed away if you're capable of doing such. Those sorts of things. Because Mercury Retrograde will make your ass tap into it, that's for sure. Okay, so let's start off with a prayer. All praises to the Most High for this day. All praises to the Most High for this blessing of life within itself, for this day, for each opportunity, for this platform, for each viewer. I pray that everything connected to you is well, prosperous, protected, and at peace. I love you guys all so very much. Okay? We are going to start out with some oracles first. What is going on for Mercury Retrograde? What's going on for Mercury Retrograde? All right. Giving thought to anything is creation. Giving deliberate thought to anything is deliberate creation. So, again, with Mercury, the way that you think, the things that you are thinking on, because that is what you are literally creating in your physical, in like the 3D. Okay. I practice the science of deliberate creation. So it's like heavy emphasis on like this bird's eye view with the things that you're saying and doing and reacting. Okay. Yes. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. Okay, so with that, I don't think I have that book anymore. Yeah, the dog ate that book. <laughs> the dog ate my homework. <laughs> Your intuition is correct about something. Okay, so um, 
definitely listen to your intuition. We're definitely going to clarify that, but I feel like let's pull one more from Mercury Retrograde. Mercury Retrograde. Okay. Healing Heart. You are a powerful healer. Keep up the good work. So, again, being a healer, even if you aren't a healer, it is like maybe a healer is telling you to be more conscious of the things that you are creating in your 3D. Yeah. Because the next card is thriving is as natural as breathing itself. By relaxing often and breathing deeply, your natural thriving is enhanced. So that's, again, also about, like I said, about grounding your energy, keeping yourself in alignment. Okay, as I breathe deeply, I feel myself thrive. That's what the breathing exercises, if you guys are not sure of what that is, is literally inhale exhale inhale hold it for uh maybe like 10 seconds and then exhale okay and then friendship is here new year's is coming in so you guys could definitely be hanging out with your friends with your relatives with you know whoever is in your circle okay please cleanse the energy Okay, so yeah, be conscious. Be, I'm hearing being conscious of the things that you're saying and doing and the way that you're reacting. That is what I'm getting overall here. Okay. Now, please have a little clarity on Mercury Retrograde from my collective viewers. What do they need to know? What can they expect during Mercury Retrograde? And also, like, before I even get started with these, like, I'll, I have a disclosure. So, with this New Year's, with November 1st, I mean, <laughs> fucking January 1st being New Year's, that is is not technically a complete cycle so i mean this would be like if your new year's resolution that is more so like setting goals for yourself for this particular cycle with winter solstice is it's like for the winter cycle it's not a, a complete cycle yet like just that's just the disclosure for someone is like, I know people be like, I don't want to hear that new me, the new year, new me shit. Like, motherfuckers, it's okay. That's why they say people change like the weather. They in and out like the seasons. Like, that is literally a part of it. Like, shedding the leaves. Okay. Wow. Okay, so religious factor... Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So, yeah, somebody is definitely a healer here. And they could have... Um, have grown into someone who is more conscious, more aware, more woke of what's really going on. And then separation fell out. That could be what this yes is. Someone's needing to separate. Um, someone, like I said, could have separated from what they initially like grew up with and actually like departed from that and became this healer. And like started to understand what, you know, what the the cycles and the universal shit versus just the 3D shit that's being taught to us since a kid. 
Okay. But I don't know. Something may come out and it will clarify it. So whatever. Let's see. Let's get more. Okay. We have expectations and high honor. So it's like the spirit guides are expecting or you're expecting something of the most high. But how, okay, but how you actually do that is by your deliberate creation. The things that you are deliberately creating into your existence. That is how your prayers are answered. Yeah, wow. Keep an open mind and fucking free yourself. Wow. Freeing yourself and doing the breathing work. Time to take back control of your life. This could even be like if this is relationship wise, it's something that's like making you feel imprisoned here. It's to keep you trapped. Or that's what it, that was the whole plan anyways, okay? Wow, this is crazy. Great fortune. And the lovers is at the bottom of the deck. Free yourself in order to have a prosperous future with your, with a lover. Freeing yourself from a lover so that you can have this great fortune. You could be speaking to someone and they have like a really good idea that could like really help shit take off. Let us, I'm feeling like the guardian angels, so we're going with the guardian angels. Wow, and as soon as I pull it out the box, the spiritual teacher is here. Okay, let me shovel, I haven't used this in a while, so let's see what's going on. I'm not going to leave my babies out. Mm -hmm. Well, no, you need so clever, I'm oh, sorry. All right, nine of emotion. This is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and dreams come true. It may seem that good luck is following you, but actually these happy times are just rewards for being a loving and wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and to have more fun. So again, to break free. Then we have helper of abundance. Although you have a lot to do, it is important that you get organized first. Once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeve. And get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help you out. So again, you're expecting something from the most high. And they're here. This card indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal friend. Someone with a big heart, a quick wit, and endless patience. This person could be you. A four-leaf clover could be very significant. Nine of thoughts. Stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts positive. There is nothing, there is no need to worry. Anticipating the worst isn't helpful. So again, deliberately, what you are deliberately creating through your thoughts. Know that heaven will provide a solution. If you are experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life, release the problem to your angel. So again, like I said, somebody feeling trapped in something.
You're expecting your guys to help you and they're showing up. What did I say? I said that somebody is going... Okay, so this is 19, positive recognition. Congratulations, your plans have worked out perfectly. Now is your time to shine. Brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you and success is all but assured. Express yourself openly and honestly. And like I said, keep an open mind. And knowing that you are around those that are trustworthy, be open to unexpected opportunities. If you are this um, this healer here, you may be called upon to be a, a spokesperson for a cause close to your heart. Your angels will give you the perfect words and you'll do brilliantly. You may be asked to be a mentor or to find one yourself. This situation involves someone who's professional with a positive attitude and fresh new ideas. This person could also be you, maybe emotionally unavailable, someone who is emotionally unavailable. All right, let's get one more. Well, just got two more. Thank you. I'm going to take those. Wonderful news regarding your career. A new job, a promotion, or acceptance into an excellent school comes into your life. You may feel ready to do something that's challenging and fulfilling. This situation may involve someone who is fun to be around. Sometimes maybe even mischievous. This person may be you, very youthful, optimistic, and very clever. Life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotions fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured. But by simply offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others, you are rewarded with unconditional love. This is like the Ten of Pentacles in the Tarot deck. So I told y'all I was getting that vibe just off top. So let's see. Okay, we're starting off with um, affirmations. That's good because I was looking at the affirmation cards right here, but we're gonna stick with this one. Okay, you grab your crystal or you know just repeat it aloud. However, you do your affirmations is just you commanding out of your mouth deliberately creating okay this is how you use it okay i am open clear and honest in my communication i have a right to speak my truth i live an authentic life i have integrity i love to share my experiences and i will speak my truth through my wisdom okay again throat chakra So once again, through your energy, keeping yourself balanced, the throat chakra, maybe meditating and saying your affirmations is deliberately creating that. All right. Hmm. Okay, let's get clarity. Oh, also, yeah, during Mercury retrograde, <laughs> this people be like going bonkers and getting locked up and shit. So y'all literally make sure that you just, before you snap, just be like, fucking Mercury retrograde 
and then you just do it, exhale, and then you just go about your business because you should already know people are bonkers right now. So, again, okay, so Mercury retrograde. Look, this is the straight facts. I'm the truth. Okay, what is this one? Wow, protected. That fell on top of the Oracle stack right here. So with these cards up here, this straight facts. Mercury retrograde, what can the collective expect? Oh, important paperwork. Like, don't do, like, don't sign contracts. Um, Doing, like, any important paperwork during Mercury retrograde, try to avoid that. Okay. Mercury retrograde. Okay, this says proper love produces proper results. So this is like a happy, healthy, loving, you know, sort of family here. Yeah. Life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillments are on the horizon. Because you understand that proper love produces proper results. The proper thoughts produce the proper results. Hmm. Yeah, see, doing that breathing, the breathing exercises so that you can think clearly. Okay, you should, you could be a social vegan where you don't like to really hang out with people, but maybe you guys are. Okay. Or you did. I think Mercury Retrograde started like yesterday, day before yesterday. Today is December 30th. So I just started yesterday. Okay, yeah, done telling people how to handle me. Then it says never again, taking action. Once you're in being able to actually think clearly and understanding, you know, like if you're with someone that is loving then it's going to produce fruitful things. But if it's not, you know, producing anything, then it's, it's enough. So, <laughs> you know, What's going on? Mercury retrograde. That could be like with the ex shit. Like, no, I'm not fucking with you ever again. Like, you know. Yeah. Okay. So, 
let's get clarity on Mercury retrograde. Okay, so this this gun violence. That just keep popping out, but I don't want to speak this. But if there's some gun violence here, somebody getting locked up for that shit. Okay, dreadhead. Somebody in their 30s. I don't like that. Card game. Or why they were spending time with their family. Something like this. I don't like this. Is this? But I mean this is the shit. Okay. Somebody got a court case pending. Oh no, sweat Thursday. Yeah, legal matters. So somebody definitely got court here. I see fake friends and abuse of power. Yeah, bad intentions. So Somebody is on some extra shit. Y'all know how it resonates. This could be something that's in like the news if this ain't something that's personal. But it's something here and I don't like it and I don't want to keep reading on it. So can we get something else? Highly doubt that somebody is homeless. Highly doubt homeless. Every dog has his day. Or somebody could be like spending time with their family before they go to court type shit. Yeah, that's okay. So that's why they never again. So if somebody was homeless, they'll never be homeless again. If you're done telling people, you know, about their errors and how they're fucking you over and whatever else, then that's possibly because you're going through the dark night of the soul. That is why you have decided to take action because you're learning and you're understanding. This is good. I'm absolutely loving this. Okay, life path number two. Need love and wants to be loved. Connect on a soulful level. They bring harmony to groups. So that what that's, that friendship is here for. Okay. Vital to get out and socialize. So yeah, somebody is social vegan, but they don't really socialize like that. And you're needing to get out. Okay. That's what that have an open mind is about. Okay. A judge, a lawyer, or a social worker could be very significant. With a low cut or a bald head.
Yeah, queens don't pay with don't lay with peasants, do better. So understanding the error. Fems. And now thinking clearer. Couples saying affirmations. So if you guys are a couple here, or like if you have a mate here, okay, speak affirmations over love, abundance, and wealth. That is very key. I seen a couple that did their affirmations. And I was like, oh my God, I want, you know, that's like the only time where I'm like, oh, I want a person. But other than that, I'm like, eh, I'm good. All the bullshit that comes with it, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, wow. And then it says you're about to meet the reason why you couldn't settle. Wow. Wow. Wow, faithful meet, uh, faithful mate, someone who is going to be equal with you. Wow, that is crazy. <laughs> so there's somebody with a low haircut, and then there's somebody with dreads. They can have court about this already. Somebody is a fake ass friend that they could have stopped dealing with. That could be what the separation is. Yeah, age 37 to 47. Yeah, look, this says serve in good or in bad. Correct people's mistakes, warn them, encourage them with hope, be patient with them. They will be saved from the evil attacks. Praise and express gratitude. Damn. Name in. Wow. Okay. This, I was not expecting this. So yeah, like I said, like board games, spending family time. I'm definitely getting like family energy here. This could be what you guys would like staying inside, like just growing closer to your kids, to your loved ones, your pets, whatever. Okay, to breathe, to live, to give life. By speaking the things that you speak, okay, being conscious of the things that you were saying. And that's why I don't really want to do this. But then again, it's like I don't have a choice. Okay, so it's kind of like where it didn't go. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Mercury retrograde. Some of you guys could be doing like late night conversations, like doing some catching up with someone, even if it's not like actually hanging out, could just be like on the phone, like talking. Yeah, see, on the phone, just talking. Have faith in what will be. And you have the authority to speak things in or out of your life. The one in Crescent is very significant. That is pertaining to balance, success, and attaining wisdom and cleaning your home.
the people that you lose during the healing process is meant for the unhealed version of you. Okay? So that is like who you have to separate yourself from the people that no longer fit your path that you're on. That's also a part of going through the dark night of the soul as well. Okay. So someone is definitely a healer here, a spiritualist, someone that's very spiritual. Have an abundant business. Or you will with this great fortune here. Just have to, that could be what you're needing to take action on. Yeah, something that you're passionate about. And like I said, cleansing your home. Cleansing your space. Wow, did, you're the red pill that I found in the matrix. So yeah, somebody definitely escaped in the matrix. Oh wow, this is big fix, okay? I'm pimping insecurities now, they're my bottom bitches, and this just fell into my trash can. So it's like literally throwing that shit. That insecurities and the fucking trash. <laughs> yeah, any regret, anything, anything that's making you feel depressed, negative, anything that you feel like you've missed the chance on, anything that you're yearning for, that you're insecure about, any of that shit, throwing that shit straight in the trash. Write it down on a piece of paper, throw that shit in the fucking trash. Or you can go outside, burn the paper, and goddamn speak your whatever and go on about your business. Okay. So. Your phone could be dry as fuck. <laughs> Someone's definitely going to be rewarded for their obedience here. To confirm your spiritual growth here, you will start seeing spirit animals, okay? Such as ladybugs, in which the blue ladybug is already out here, but ladybugs, dragonflies, butterflies is already here, okay? Where was the blue? Here it is. Blue ladybug. So you already got your spirit animals out here. <laughs> but if you start like literally seeing them, then you'll really know what's up. There's the caterpillar phase. Something that triggers you in order to get you to want to change, to look for a change. Okay, someone can have long hair. Don't look back in anger or embarrassment. Look forward through your growth. Things to look forward. Like, Literally call yourself out like, all right, I know I, I fucked up by even laying with a peasant, by even communicating with a peasant type shit. Like, accountability 
But then also look at it like, damn, look, I used to fuck with this type of motherfucker. You know, just look at this shit from a different perspective. It's always good. Just breathe and just chill. Okay. There could be a drug transaction between someone and gun violence could break out. Like somebody could pull out the strap on somebody. Yeah. Okay. So the sweet nothings here. So not dealing with people who are deceiving you, but being more consciously aware of who you are sharing your energy with. Yeah, I told you, Mercury retrograde and make you come up out that jam. <laughs> okay, so this could be a music artist, fire sign. Could be very significant. It doesn't have to be pertaining to that. I don't want to put that on nobody. I'm just saying this is what's on the table. Okay. Okay. An affirmation is I release the past and live in the present, trusting that all my needs are met, emotions are valid, and intuition is on point, and that I find safety and protection within myself. The world will embrace me with open arms. A shame. And becoming debt free. Yeah, see, and like never allowing people access to your body that can't, you know, produce anything else with you, like besides that. Anyways, the law of action here. You must use it in order to manifest. Taking things, taking action to support your thoughts and your dreams. Making a to-do list, so definitely a paper trail. A greedy designer. I just seen a designer and then I just seen greedy. Yeah, look, don't sign contracts right now. Set your priorities and do what is important to you. Like I said, organize yourself, your home, your business. Okay, definitely a celebrity is very significant with something. Okay, so let's get more tarot and see what is going on. What can we expect from Mercury Retrograde? I don't know why, but I'm wanting to like rock back and forth for some reason. It's so sweet. Like, okay, what's going on now? Okay, releasing pain, overcoming depression. Grief, heartbreak, forgiveness, reconciliation, sharing your problems, inability to let go of the pain, suppress memories, and refusing to let go. Okay, so I feel like someone, you could be on whatever aspect of this, but I feel like someone is literally like releasing pain. And if someone is going through a separation, it's like the heartbreak. Okay. Yeah, with a divorce. Balancing life throughout the ups and downs. Balancing their books, transferring money. Maybe having stressful financial decisions. Six of Wands, though, is like, well wishes, sharing your victory. Um, again, a celebrity is very significant. Someone having the advantage. Someone having the gift with the Six of Pentacles. There could be some canceled plans. Like you could be like, nah, I don't want to do. I don't want to go. 
Or maybe if you're supposed to be going somewhere, then there's like, nah. <laughs> this is clear intuition about that. You're supposed to go or not. Okay. Poor planning, so, or some deception. Definitely getting heavy on the manipulation energy. This is the magician reversed here. This is about employment as well. So somebody could be definitely getting like a bonus, a raise, a promotion. Let's get one more on this because this is really negative. I don't like this either. Somebody don't want to be around somebody that's feeling, that's draining their energy, manipulating them, love bombing. Yeah, detaching. It's like somebody is not wanting to deal with this shit at all. Can you not? Ooh, okay. Moving forward. Okay. Releasing emotions, letting go of regret, grief, and rejoining the world. Okay. Divine masculine was stuck in this. So. This could be pertaining to a masculine here. Rejoining the world. So maybe you could have, let's see, let's see what I'm doing. standing up for your beliefs. Holding your own. Letting go of the past, leaving home, and resolving issues. Yeah, somebody is definitely moving on and letting go, standing up for themselves and letting go of the past. Releasing the limited beliefs. Okay, what's going on with this fire sign? Though? Fire sign. A peaceful solution. You guys could be moving on. The ending to a conflict, nope, crime. Here it go. Making a major sacrifice. Sudden action.
this could definitely be pertaining this this gun violence could definitely be pertaining to this fire sign here somebody could have did some shit and then took off running Someone is also rushing towards their empress, towards the mother, towards the wife, the feminine, the heavy feminine energy. Thinking on your feet for a peaceful solution. Someone, there's a masculine that has a a positive obsession with his woman and that is good but i feel like this masculine has to like relieve relieve the limited beliefs and the um deception depression the negativity I'm alone. I'm hearing alone and detached from things that are not for their highest good. Someone can also be under attack here, and they're standing up for themselves. Yep, the end of the conflict. A solution. That's the fucking solution. Is to stand up for yourself. Regardless of who you is and what is going on. Okay, so let's see. Let's get a room. Sheesh. I'm hearing I need commitment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let me get one room. What's going on here? Somebody could, if this gun violence, something it could happen at like a party or something because of some deception. Someone could try to trick somebody into doubting themselves or to stall somebody like something happening to stall some shit. So y'all, definitely be aware of your surroundings. House parties, definitely be aware of your surroundings. Okay. Why does three cards keep falling out each time is the first thing. But the second thing I'm getting is even if it feels like you've been through hell, your future is still very fucking bright. But still, also, with this, this is like New Year's energy, too, with the celebrating, so... Anyways, let's see. What's going on with Mercury Retrograde? What is it the collective needs to know? Man, I'm just a one card, please. Because I'm going to read through the book. So, I don't want to bore the people. Thank you. Ooh, I've never seen this card before. Cup. Oh. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. This card represents randomness, coincidences, and secrets uncovered, and also mysteries. It is the letter P. Wow, because why I was, why did I just start off the video with all them P's and I was instantly thinking, pushing P. <laughs> <coughs> 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 
shit together now. Come on. Okay. This card represents hidden knowledge. It speaks of mystery, secrets, and spooky coincidences. A situation that has been puzzling or unknown may be soon explained. There could be a revelation of some sort, or someone may spill a secret that you have been that they have been keeping or surprisingly revealing a new piece of information that will provide answers to something that is very frustrating. Again, this could be a judge, a lawyer, anybody, you know, whatever is going on. Okay. This is some juicy insight. So be out, be on the lookout for signals and signs. Yeah, look what I said. Practice meditation. Simply go for a quiet walk. This could be through someone else. This could be somebody completely fucking random and it's nothing to do with what you got going on. But they could say something that click. Pay attention. This rune, I feel like carry this rune around with you. Wasn't it illumination at the bottom? No, that was before I started shuffling. Try switching off your phone for a while, meditating, or simply going for a quiet walk. So again, like I said, spending time with your family, with your loved ones, being um, getting more in tune with yourself. Um, this will give you the space you need to tune in to the wise words inside of you that instinctively knows exactly what is best for you. This is particularly a good time to work with runes and other forms of divination as they are particularly open to their wisdom. You can always trust your inner wisdom with this room. 72 is very significant. Because, yeah, seven, 572 is right there. And then 72 is right here. And I've also been saying 72 a lot. So 1972 could be significant or 72 could be significant. Whatever. Okay, so I told y'all three keep coming out. Enlightenment. Energy, clarity, poetic justice, and success. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, this one represents joy, pleasure, success, and happy endings. Hmm. Okay, let me see. What else? This is the last one, then I'm gonna end it. If you clean up, you may start finding shit. <laughs> okay, that has been lost for a while. You do like a deep cleaning, like underneath the dresser, underneath your beds, couches, you know, that sort of stuff. You may find some things. I tell my kids that all the time. So that's for somebody for sure. <laughs> All right, Mercury retrograde. The relationship is over. No second chances because somebody was motherfucking cheating. Okay, that's why somebody's separating. That's why somebody ain't dealing. Okay, not wanting to be in all this extra ass third party interferences. Okay, Hook, just random hookups like somebody ain't with all that. Definitely, I'm getting like ground your energy, align your chakras, dance, move around. Okay. Clock. Okay, so someone needs time to heal. 
or it took you time to heal and now is the end of the conflict. It's taking time to reach an agreement. If something is taking too long, then make sure you don't get short fuse with it. Okay. See, somebody trying to link up just to smash in the wheel. No, sir. No, ma'am. One night stands expressing, thinking of you and letting you know just so they could just smash in. No. No. Okay. What else? Look what I told you. Love bombing. It's a no. Somebody is healing from a heartbreak. Going through the separation, a mourning, they're mourning something. Freedom from relationships or addictions. Heartbroken. Finding themselves, becoming one with themselves. Finding what paradise really is. Something on. Something is going to be exposed here. So, yeah. Look, the truth. Wow. The truth is going to be exposed. Clarity. Some sort of revelation here. About an engagement ring or a wedding ring. Somebody could be getting that. Or something. You could be finding out somebody is getting married or some shit like that. I don't know. Something. You're going to be finding out something. Or this, hell, yeah, this could even be for you, pertaining to your future, you know. Getting into the engagement ring, somebody letting you know that they like you, then it becomes, okay, the engagement, wedding, like doing shit in a court, not just going to, oh, I like you to, bam, I want to marry you. Like, now nah, I've already, if you guys have already been married before, like, now nah, I've already been there, done that, let's just take this slow. Okay, you like me, cool, bam, show me what's up. Show me that it's not just this. I said that's all, so I think that I'm going to leave this here. Okay. Love you. Bye.